This is Vast Space. You've probably never heard of them, but they're a company that was founded in 2021 with the goal of producing artificial gravity for space stations in Earth's orbit. And they just announced something, confirmed by SpaceX itself, that's actually really miraculous. In the year 2025, they're planning on launching what they call the Haven 1 space station into low Earth orbit. And as of right now, the plan is for there to be artificial gravity on parts of the space station similar to the strength found on the moon. Now, yeah, we've heard all sorts of bizarre false promises when it comes to space stations in the past, but VAST has some credibility. For one, its founder is worth over two and a half billion dollars, which means it's got a pretty consistent revenue source. But far more importantly, several of its most important technical advisors had long, successful careers at SpaceX before joining the company. And if that isn't enough, the program itself has direct support from SpaceX. The space station will rest at about 500 kilometers in orbit, which is about the same inclination as the International Space Station. It'll be given a test run with no one on board for the first few weeks, and if there's no problems that rise up, then SpaceX's Dragon will deliver a crew of four to the station for its first mission. VAST isn't planning on stopping there, however. They've got some pretty ambitious plans up their sleeve. This includes plans that involve building a space station that could potentially house hundreds of people. Whether or not they'll be able to pull that one off remains to be seen. I'm a little skeptical, to be honest. Sounds a bit like science fiction. But many of their plans beyond the Haven 1 are actually far more realistic and would be pretty groundbreaking if they can pull it off. Their timeline is as follows. In 2025, they'll launch the Haven 1, and then shortly after, they'll launch what's called Vast 1, which is basically just the first human spaceflight mission to the Haven 1. By 2028, they want to launch what they call the Starship Class Module. Details are rather scarce on this, but it's basically designed so that Starship can actually dock with it, and presumably handle the cargo load that might be on board. In the 2030s, Vast wants to launch what they call the Spinning Stick Stations. This will produce a centripetal force that, to varying degrees, simulates gravity, and it should house about 40 crew if successful. If successful, their plan is to have a pretty extensive manufacturing and research capacity on the station. Largely just to test how artificial gravity will affect various things we might otherwise take for granted on Earth. And their long-term goal is what's called the proliferated Station Fleet, which seems to be a kind of network of modules that can hold hundreds of crew members in unison. Again, on the last two, call me skeptical. But it's worth noting that the Haven 1 itself will also include some centripetal testing, on a much smaller scale compared to what's planned in the future, but enough to actually test lunar-level gravity on the station. The Haven 1 will also act as a kind of orbital hotel for Dragon's spacecraft crew, and allow them to house up for up to 30 days at a time while in low Earth orbit. It'll contain about 1,000 watts of power, 24-7 communications, and about 150 kilograms of preloaded cargo mass, which will allow for pretty persistent science and research on board the station. And as you might have expected, much of it is designed for basically billionaire tourism with large window domes for viewing and photography. But as far as I'm concerned, if billionaire leisure equals space technology advancement, well, so be it. <laughs>